Yeah, and uh, six out of the eight in the field have medals in this event. But here we go. As we mentioned, starting the party off with an X Games rookie. You see on that graphic right there, entered as an alternate and not a moment too late because, I mean, it was literally right before we came on for this event. So she is going to get the party started out here today, hailing from Canada. So we'll have to see what the uh, rookie does to get things started. Here is the format. As we mentioned, eight competitors in the field. This is a 30-minute jam session. They're going to have to ski in the order that you saw on that start list here. But how this works in women's ski big air, you need two big tricks because it's your two best scores totaled together that are hopefully going to get you on that podium here in Aspen. And here is a look. Olivia getting us started with the Double core kangaroo right off the bat, getting the grab in there, landing clean, and that is one of two doubles that she has. So, like I said, she's a rookie, but she is not skiing like a rookie. Only 17 years old, the youngest in the field, just graduated high school last year, too. So we go back up to the top in round number two. We're almost at the one-third mark here. Almost eight minutes of a lap on the clock here. It is a 30-minute jam session here. Olivia Oslin, our X Games rookie, getting a last-minute addition into the lineup here for Sarah Hoffman, who had to back out. Olivia sits in that number four spot right now with a 35. This is where strategy starts to come into play. And you can see going for the left side double cork 12, a little bit of a hand drag there, but that double cork 12 is what all three of those top three positions right now have done in order to be sitting where they are. So here's another look, reaching down for the grab, not quite getting it. But again, with her double cork from the previous trick, that right side kangaroo flip last run and the variety of this double cork, she's gonna be sitting real pretty. So remember, it's two runs total together that put you on the podium here. So at this point, we will see these numbers jumping up quite a bit right here. So you total those two, two scores together. She's got a 35 and a 21. It gives her a total of 56. Olivia Oslin, who is an X Games rookie, who is currently looking at a potential bronze medal finish here. Let's see if she opts for that left up 12 again. Getting the grab a little better, over-rotating. Not going to improve on that score. She's got a 21 on that from her second run. Gold medalist had a rough outing the first two attempts. She's not taking her third run. So we move back up to the top of the order and bring back in Olivia Oselin. Going for that left side cork. 10 there, getting the safety grab. Trying to improve on that score of a 21 on that left up 12, but backed off of the rotation this time just to try to get something else on the board. Nice. Double cork 10. We saw one other person doing that out here today, Julia Tano. 37. Olivia is going to jump back up into podium contention. She just bumped Julia Tano down to that number four spot. So how about of the competition? And it's Tess Ledeau, who we talked about missing the last two X Games events. She's in the driver's seat right now, sitting in the top spot. As we go into this next round, this is Olivia Oslin currently sitting in a bronze medal position. Nice. Going for the left dub 12. We saw her try this earlier and didn't quite have the speed. Cleaned it up a little bit, but still a bit of a hand drag on the landing. Here is a look back. Figuring out the speed on this jump has been tricky. Getting that tail grab. One of the things that stands out for Olivia for me is just her style. It is so fun to watch her ski. Brings the feet around, gets it down. Barely even a hand drag, so this might be an improvement for her. 